Meteorologist Mark Molnar was your host for Hurricane Northeastern. Let's get right into breaking Dorian coverage, Tropical Storm Dorian. We're dealing with the visible satellite photo here looking very impressive. And there is the infrared satellite photo. You can see the northwest and southern quadrants looking very impressive with a very well ventilated system here as it moves towards the northwest towards the island of Puerto Rico. Looks like Wednesday night will be the night that Puerto Rico gets hit with this storm. There's the satellite photo for the rest of your tropics, dealing with some problems out here in the Gulf of Mexico, as well as tropical waves out here in the Atlantic. But there it is, the particulars on Tropical Storm Dorian, as it moves towards the island of Puerto Rico, looking to take a direct hit on particularly Wednesday night. Probably top sustained winds between 60 and 70 miles per hour by that time, a strong tropical storm. And then once it moves off of the Puerto Rican coast, it looks to remain off the island and just east of Hispaniola, keeping it away from those very tall mountains of Hispaniola and over the open waters longer, which means this system has the potential to become a hurricane and stronger than originally predicted. Once it moves through the Bahamas on Thursday and Friday, it will approach the Florida Peninsula by the weekend, particularly later in the weekend, as the forward speed slows. Initially over the Bahamas, it will be being drawn north by tropical, what's left of Tropical Depression 6. That's why it moves just east of the island of Hispaniola. But by days five and six and even seven, we'll have the high pressure from Bermuda building in just to the east of it, pushing the system and bending it back to the left towards Florida. So that's where we have the problems anywhere from the Florida Keys, Miami, all the way up the coast to Jacksonville, and even Georgia coastline residents should be watching the storm. It does have a lot going for it. The wind shear will be slackening in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Sea surface temperatures will get warmer as it approaches the Bahamas and off the coast of Florida. So we will be looking at a system that has the potential to develop into a hurricane. So a lot of the models are slowly starting to push their intensity scales upward here. So there you have it, Tropical Storm Dorian. We will continue to watch it here, and this system has a lot going for it. So Tropical Depression number six, racing off towards the northeast. It will impact Newfoundland and northeastern portion of Canada with some wind and rain. It will be becoming extra tropical by then. Probably top sustained winds by then will be 50 to 60 miles per hour. So there you have it. It probably will be a tropical storm here in the next 24 to 36 hours. There is the tropics. We're going to get right into viewer sending photos and videos. Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. August 22nd, last Thursday, dealing with strong thunderstorms in the area. Wind gusts up to 85 miles per hour, he said, as these storms move through. Look at that ominous time lapse here as those thunderstorms were very potent across the Lebanon County area, just northeast of the Harrisburg region. So very nice capture here. Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. Very stormy skies, but dealing with a lot of stormy weather, severe weather outbreaks across the northeast. And John from the Islip, New York area, take a look at these thunderstorms that produced some damage. He said there was some tornado damage. You can see a tree down here in the background. So there you have it out on Long Island, damage to behold. So we're getting right into precipitation totals. Your eyes are pretty much drawn to the Florida area. Four to as much as eight inches of rain as later on in the forecast period, we will get Dorian, tropical storm, probably hurricane by that time, approaching the Florida coastline. Take a look at the weather pattern. Here it is across the northern tier of the country, we're dealing with the trough in the upper Midwest here, dealing with the zonal pattern here in the Northeast, keeping systems moving right along. And then we take a look at severe weather. We're not really looking at any large scale areas of severe weather here across the Northeast. So that's very good news. We will be dealing with a rainy and stormy day on Wednesday, but none of these will amount to anything severe. Let's get right into the forecast. We're gonna start off with your Wednesday across the Northeast. Take a look at this, not too bad as far as temperatures are concerned, but as far as rain, the stormiest weather will be right in the I-81 corridor from Syracuse, Binghamton, down to Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and Harrisburg. Showers and thunderstorms pretty much lining up throughout the day. 
None of these will be severe. It will be just a generalized rainfall with some embedded thunderstorms. Temperatures getting up held down into the lower to mid 70s in most areas. That front will be on the move for Thursday, scouring out and pushing all of that precipitation to the east. And we start to clear it out a bit here. Temperatures heading up towards 70, 75 in many areas, maybe cracking 80 here in the lower Susquehanna River Valley to the lower Allegheny River Valley. And your Friday across the northeast, not too bad. We start to really kick in some sunshine here. Temperatures. We'll start to warm here on the backside of high pressure, creeping up into the 80s across the areas of Pennsylvania, 70s mostly across upstate New York, into New England, over to the Boston area, up to Burlington, Albany, and Syracuse. And then onto your Saturday here across the Northeast, we have a little shot of some cooler air that starts to propagate its way in. So some areas will be held into the upper 60s and lower 70s. We'll even get a little bit of a shot of some cooler mid to upper 70 air here across portions of Pennsylvania and New Jersey and spreading its way into portions of the New England area. But we're going to continue to get a very nice day here across the Northeast to start your Labor Day weekend. Take a look at my 5D outlook for my hometown viewers, Binghamton, Scranton, Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and Northeast Pennsylvania, all points in between. Look at this. Starting off with Wednesday, rain and thunderstorms likely. Mostly an all-day event, 90% chance. Most areas, temperatures getting up towards the lower to mid-70s into your Thursday. You will get up quarter to a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch out of this Wednesday into Thursday. That front moves through Wednesday night, scours out all those clouds, sunny skies, late day, temperatures into the 70s as well as into Friday. Looking brilliant sunshine Saturday. Get a little slight cool down here into the low 70s. Overnight lows looking very good for sleeping weather, even upper 40s, low 50s into the normally colder valleys. And then into your Sunday, we do get a chance, probably only a 20% chance of an afternoon shower. Temperatures heading up towards the mid to upper 70s, looking very nice for your Labor Day weekend. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com, MediaMark.com, WeatherNortheastern.com, and Weather Northeastern on Facebook as well as well as Hurricane Northeastern. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Hurricane Northeastern and Weather Northeastern.